The Wokenham Stakes, a 28-runner cavalry charge down the finishing straight at Ascot is going to take a lot of picking through. So we've only got a minute, so we've narrowed it down just so we don't waste your entire day. Uh, a couple to mention, Mum's Tipple at a very big price. Richard Hannan and Frankie Dottori, definitely worth keeping an eye out on. Likes this course, likes this distance, and likes what's probably going to be rattling fast ground. So worth keeping an eye out on that one. And it's interesting that they've managed to secure... Uh, Frankie for that. I mean, that could be his absolute swan song uh, as we get to the end of his last ever meeting at Ascot. Other ones to mention, Kanjar, further up in the market, still a double-figure price, though, as we speak. A little bit disappointing uh, when second at Hamilton last time, but William Haggis, he knows the time of day. Him and Jim Crowley have both already had a very, very good week, and uh, he won the Tin Man at Haydock on very, very quick ground. He's fast. He'll see out the trip very, very well. He's only four pounds higher this time, but is still improving. First time cheek pieces and a nice draw as well. Kanjar's got a real chance. And one other to mention is Kings Lynn. This one should be at a big price in the King's Colours as well. Was third in this race two years ago on different ground, but was quite unlucky in the run. Well worth having a look back on that. You'll see the familiar colours. Not getting the clear run, a couple of furlongs out, but came home like an absolute train that time. Bounced back to form last time, went second at Chester as well. Again, different ground, but has won on quick ground in a similar kind of race at a different track, albeit, but will be at a pretty big price. Three for you in the Wokenham. So we've got Kanjar towards the top end of the market, Mum's Tipple way down the market, and Kings Lynn somewhere in the middle. One of those should go pretty close and provide a bit of value.